Hi there, I'm Ed, and today I have three pairs of leggings from Glider that I'm doing in a try-on review, um, which I'm gonna call a slipper try-on because I'm wearing slippers. So this is the first pair of leggings. They are using the Forma Flex fabric. It's the print version of the Forma 101 fabric. There's a double peaching process that leaves this print fabric feeling soft, not slick, achieving a more cotton-like sensation against your skin. And it says that it has four-way stretch, it's sweat wicking, it's breathable, and it's micro sanded for a super soft touch. So these were on sale. Um, they are really soft. They are brushed. They feel brushed on the inside and the inside is a light color so as you can see this stretching out it does show that light color through the plaid i am wearing a red pair of panties so you may be able to see them in the squat test a little bit but that will show you how squat proof these are one thing that i think i'm just really bad at is actually putting on vertical patterns straight so I never, well, I don't think I look great in these um, because they just, they end up being like the, the things that are supposed to be straight vertically just end up being crooked across my legs. And I never think that that is a, a great look on me. These do have a high waistband. Uh, my belly button is here. So they do come up and over. There is a seam at the top and there is double fabric for this, uh, this waistband. There is a key key pocket or hotel card pocket here. I feel like these were a bit of a struggle to get on. I ordered them in a size large and I ordered the Formal 101 leggings that I have from Glider that I like a lot in a size large as well. I would say that while this is the print version of that fabric, um, I don't feel a lot of similarities between the two. Um, I would def I definitely prefer the Formo 101 fabric to this one. Um, this doesn't, this feels really warm actually. Like it, maybe I'm just wearing it in the wrong season, but it feels really warm, almost like they're fleece lined. So for what I want them for, which is like for working out now when it's kind of warm out, um, I just, I'm just not a huge fan. And I feel, I feel like I just want more fabric in the butt. I just, I, I feel like I'm really fighting to like pull fabric, you know, up the back of my legs to like get it into my bum area so that, you know, my, I'm just, I'm not feeling squished down. And so that the, you know, waistband can come all the way up to where, you know, I feel like it should be. So overall, not a huge fan of these. Um, I just, between the print and the fabric and the fit, it all just sort of compiles, doesn't it? <laughs> Here's the next pair. This is a pair of white leggings with a rose gold foil pattern. Again, I'm wearing red panties, which isn't really fair um, to these leggings as we look at squat proofiness, um, but I, I think you'll, you'll get an idea. So these leggings are also Formaflex, the Formaflex fabric. But, oh, and, and they say they have four-way stretch, sweat wicking, breathable, and micro sanded for a super soft touch. So they are not as soft on the outside as the other leggings were. On the inside, they are soft, but they're not as soft as, as the other ones. Um, however, I like this fabric more, and I would say the two feel like totally different fabrics. I wouldn't say that they're the same fabric at all. Um, the... Last one definitely felt more cottony. This one definitely feels more slick and performancey. So there definitely seem to be some discrepancies with how Glider is naming their fabrics and determining which leggings fall under which fabric. I ordered these in a size large and here's my belly button. They are definitely a high-waisted legging. One thing that is really, really weird about these leggings that I just, I feel like I can't get over is that the front half of the legging is seamless um, for the waistband. It's a double seamless fabric waistband. And the back of the legging has a seam at the top. It's still double fabric and there's a pocket in the back, but 
there's a, a seam at the back, there's no seam at the front. At the side, I, I'm hoping you can see this, but there's almost like a notch at the side. And I just, I've, from trying these on and moving around in them a little bit, I've just found that this notch act actually makes it more likely that both the front and the back will roll down when I do anything or, or when I move around. Had these leggings fit from, I think specifically from a waistband perspective, I would have kept them because I actually, I don't mind the print. Um, I thought I was going to be really wary and I am really wary of a white legging, but I actually really like the print. The fabric isn't bad. It doesn't feel as breathable as I think the tag makes it out to be. Like it, it does feel like it's going to hold in a, a little bit of sweat, but I just thought they were so cool. It's just that the waistband is so uncomfortable that I, I definitely don't want to keep them. This is the last thing I ordered in this glider apparel purchase. This is the Forma 101 fabric and it's a performance fabric that was engineered with superior stretch and recovery, creating the ultimate fit, support, and range of motion. This fabric combines the cozy hand feel attributes we love from natural fibers with all the technical properties of a high performance blend. It is also has four way stretch, sweat wicking, brushed for a super soft hand feel, and has flat seam sewn to eliminate chafing. I actually really do like the Forma 101 fabric and this is that fabric from Glider that I do like. And I saw these online and you know, sometimes you see things and you're like, wow, those look really weird and I love them and hate them all at the same time. And that's exactly how I felt about these. And I thought that they looked like a legging jogger and I just thought that that was really fascinating and really interesting. I thought the color was really unique. So I thought, you know, we'll try it out, order them and see if they fit. So I ordered these in a size large and I'm about 5'4". And while I love the Forma 101 fabric, there's just a lot of other things. I hate about these pants that just make it really difficult for me to keep them. So the first thing is that they are so long. Um, there's a cuff here and that's supposed to be, you know, at the bottom of your foot. And there's just so much extra fabric that, um, it just, it's like, why does it exist? <laughs> I mean, it just, all the fabric just bunches down at my ankle. Um, because they are way too long. I also just found the rise, so they're all the way pulled up on me, and here's my belly button. They are like a super ultra high rise. I just don't find that particularly comfortable. Um, I wish they were a little lower, and I don't know why this drawstring is here. Now, I know that I can I could just pull the drawstring out and, and not deal with it, but just between the length and how high they are, that's not something I'm gonna do because I, I will end up returning them. But with the drawstring here, it just makes it so that it it looks weird and, and you end up with an odd silhouette, right? When you're just wearing a regular shirt. Like, you, and if you actually have the drawstring tied, then it just, it doesn't make sense. Um, not to mention, you have a seam at the top um, of the waistband, which would keep the pants from sagging down. So I'm not, I don't know why the drawstring is there to begin with. <laughs> While I really wanted to like these because I thought they were just like really weird and really unique. And sometimes I like weird and unique things. I love this legging jogger look with the seam um, down the front. I actually don't mind the back pockets. They may not be entirely flattering on me, but I, I kind of, I kind of dig them. I kind of liked the back pockets, but just between how high the rise is, how annoying the drawstring is to me, how long the pants are, there's just a lot of things here that I can't fix in a way that would make these wearable to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed about these ones, but I will, I will send them back. Just some closing words and thoughts about my glider experience and purchases. 
So I'm going to return all three of those pants. They just, they just really don't work for me. Um, and they're not exactly what I wanted. And if I don't love them, then it doesn't make sense for me to keep them. As a customer, you need to email them to start the return process. It's not automated. So you need to email them and then you need to wait to hear back from them. If this is your first purchase or your first time returning something, then they will cover return shipping. However, if it is not, then you are on the hook for that as the customer and you need to pay for that return shipping. The other thing to really make note of, they have a pretty specific return policy for sale items. So two of the pants that I got were on sale. And so now that I've purchased those things on sale, I actually can't return them and receive a refund in the same form that I purchased them. So if I got them on my credit card, I can't return them and then get money back on my credit card. So I can return them and I can either exchange them for a different size or I believe a different color, or you return them and you get store credit. So now I have some money actually tied up in Glider that I would rather not have tied up in Glider because some of those things were on sale. So that's just something I wanna call out in case you are looking to make a purchase from Glider. It may be worth it if you really like them or if you think that their aesthetic or style is um, really aligns with what you want, but it may be worth it to make that upfront investment and order several different full price leggings all at once to figure out what fabric, what fit, and what size you like, and then return the ones that you don't like that you paid full price for so that you can do that full return where they cover shipping and you get that return in the same form of payment that you originally used to purchase the leggings. The other thing I've noticed about Glider is that I've had a lot of issues actually shopping on their website. So when I go onto their website, I usually go into bottoms and then I go into leggings. And on the left hand side of the screen, there's a number of different filter options that you can use to narrow down the search so you're not looking at seven pages of leggings. However, I've noticed multiple times when I go and I use those filters, they don't actually work. And I've just found that really frustrating that if the filters don't work, don't show them on the website. It's not hard. Like I'm fine clicking through and actually looking at the leggings and figuring out which fabric they are to see if it's a fabric I like or what kind of fit it is to see if it's something I'll like or what sort of colors there are. But don't serve up filters if they don't work. It just, I don't know, to me it really tarnishes the brand and it just makes me between kind of like, hey, we can't return things if you bought them on sale and you know you only get store credit for them and filters not working and you know maybe some poorly designed <laughs> um, legging, leggings. Um, it just, it kind of makes me like wonder like how good is Glider? <laughs> like I like this one pair of leggings that I got from them, but if that's the only pair of leggings that I actually like from them, like are they even worth it? It's like, maybe they're not. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, feel free to give it a like or subscribe or don't. You do you, boo-boo. Bye.